You're welcome back. We have the esteemed Ramanujan in the studio again with us, widely known as Rami. He's an esteemed wellness coach and also a distinguished senior faculty at the uh, esteemed Art of Living Institution. Now, over the course of two decades, his involvement with the organization has served as a catalyst for the profound transformation of countless individuals. And today, of course, we'll be focusing on how to manage anxiety. Welcome, Ramanujan. Good morning. Yeah, that actually it's yes. Like You're getting it better and better. Better and better. I get better and better and better. They never aspired it. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thank you so Today's much. topic, however, very, very timely because we're at a time in Nigeria where everybody's experiencing what is called anxiety. Mm. Some of us manage it better than the others. Some people can still function every single day with your normal uh, functions. Other people might just collapse into themselves and just escape the world by just being alone. How do we manage anxiety at different levels? So, so, you know, the first step to managing anxiety is accepting that it's there. Mm. You know, somehow society pushes us to live with anxiety. They feel that being stressful is normal. Mm. So, so what is anxiety? Anxiety, you feel anxiety when you have a lot to do, but you don't have enough time or energy. Mm. Right? And if someone is stressed, people never tell them that, oh, okay, take a break, take a few breaths. Why don't you just relax? Mm. People just push them even more, saying that, you know, okay, this is normal. It's okay to live this way. Mm. So if someone breaks their hand, they proudly tell people, right, oh, you know, I've broken my hand, yeah, I'm not well, I have a that. fever. But if somebody's stressed, they are not open about sharing. Mm. No, so if somebody is anxious, they feel that, oh, I just have to live with it. There's a certain stigma that goes with also sharing your mental state with people. People yes. don't like to tell because they feel people are going to say, I'm either not strong enough or I'm just, you know, yes, ill yes. or something. Yeah. But then it is an illness. It is an illness. It is, it's a disease, isn't it? It, it is a condition. I, illness is a strong word. But it is a condition that needs to be dealt with. It's like a thorn in your foot. You won't in, uh, ignore a thorn in your foot, right? Yeah. You'd want to take it out or do something about it. Mm -hmm. So anxiety, similarly, First of all, has to be accepted that, okay, it's there. Mm. Recognize that it's there. Mm -hmm. So that then you will know that, okay, this, what do I do about it next? Mm. Yeah. Before we talk about steps or definitive things to do about it, I want to also acknowledge the different levels of anxiety and how little anxiety could build into being something huge. Um, do we also need to take note that little things are also the causative factors to our huge uh, uh, um, um, anxiousness, uh, like for instance, oh, I didn't get that done yesterday. Does that contribute to anxiety? You know, even your child throwing a tantrum also adds to the, the anxiety that you feel. Every aspect of life, you know, just being in traffic adds so much anxiety. Like in exactly. Nigeria, True. traffic is a part of life. So that means that anxiety is also... Yeah. Naturally, a part of your life. I mean, getting to work early is anxiety. Writing the scripts is anxiety. Those meetings are anxiety. Or oh, me, should I go on? <laughs> There's a lot. Absolutely. But now let's talk about actually managing it. What steps do we take? Okay. So, so, you know, like they say, compartmentalizing your life is very important. Mm. So, like you have fixed hours for work, you need to have fixed hours to relax, your personal time, and also family time, and maybe time with friends. And maybe, you know, listen to some music, watch a movie once in a while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, more important than anything, like we spoke the last time, doing a little bit work on your breath, doing some meditation. Once again. You know, mm. Practicing some activity that helps calm you down. Very, very important. See, the world, life, you know, tunes up to be completely wired up, right? Mm. Wired up all the time. Mm. We are all the time hustling to do something or the other. But nobody tells us that, you know, hey, you need to relax as well. Mm -hmm. You need to calm down. You need to let it cool down as well. It's like a pressure cooker, you know, when it's full of steam. It needs to be let out. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to go poof. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Now, it's easy for the individual to actually take these examples that you give, breath control, uh, doing something fun with family or friends and all of that. However, there is another aspect to life in which most of us cannot control, and that is actually being at work or having to do things that are your duty to get paid for, these also contribute to our anxiety levels. You were at the Women's Day uh, um, a program put together by TVC Women's Network, um, and you saw that these are people who, you know, while we're working, we are still subject to some of these things. What advice do you have for uh, workplaces, establishments, when it comes to anxiety, and 
employees managing, helping employees manage their anxiety, especially all of those anxieties brought by um, duties or things you have to do at work? Mm. You know, whenever we have taught our stress management and anxiety management workshops at corporates, you know, we have seen that when they give a break for them to just relax, it can be even 10 minutes, just 15 minutes, it improves their productivity. Mm. In fact, you know, in the middle of the day is when you feel the least productive. Nowadays, three hours into the into, into the work uh, space and people are already tired. Yeah. So just the way you take a washroom break, right? So I feel that just 10 minutes, you can just sit down, just take a few deep breaths, just keep your eyes closed, listen to some relaxing music, mm -hmm. you know, just breathe in deeply, just, just, just be, you know, for 10 minutes. If you can do that at least once in a day mm. at the workplace, yeah. you know, it will definitely improve the way a, a person approaches their work. All right. It gives us the freshness also when it is needed. How can I support a person who's going through uh, anxiety, especially if it's accumulated? How do I help? You know, best way is listening. Listening, huh? So people, people often, you know, they, they confuse listening with speaking. And giving advice. <laughs> so listening is just shutting up and letting the other person speak. Let them speak, let them vent it out. See, people know what they need to do in life. It is just about how much energy have, have, they have and how much ability they have to implement what they know. Mm. So when they do a little breathing, when they do a little meditation, it, it gives them the ability to deal with it better. Mm. Wow, that is very interesting. Listening is good. Just plain listen. Let them vent. It's like a kettle letting out steam, isn't it? Just let them do it. That's fantastic. Any other tips that we must know before we go? So, so you know, an easiest way, a simple technique to do when you're anxious is that you can just sit on your chair, you know, wherever you are, just sit on your chair, just relax your body. And you can do something called the box breathing. Okay, how does that A mean? box breathing is breathing in for four seconds, holding your breath for four seconds, breathing out for four seconds, and holding your breath again for four seconds. I've so, just done it. I've just done it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what it does is it completely relaxes your mind, it calms you down, and it uh, normalizes your heart rate as well. Mm. So this is the technique that Navy SEALs practice. Can I do it? I want everybody to see. Let, let me sure. try this. Four seconds, four seconds, four, four se seconds. Yeah. 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 Right, so here goes. So you breathe in for four seconds. Hold. Breathe out. and hold. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh, hi, have we met? <laughs> so, so, you know, funnily enough, I was just speaking to someone you know, soldiers are trained to just rest at any given point of time. You never see them complaining, oh, yeah. I don't have food, I don't have sleep. They just sleep wherever they are. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, they are trained to fight and rest at the same time. Yeah. But unfortunately, we are only trained to just work, 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 work and work. Yeah. So life has to be a balance, balance. right, of everything. I mean, what will we do without you? We need to have you here every single day. Yes, I'm Maybe right soon here, Masina. I'm <laughs> right here. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure also trying out some of these. It's, it's, sure. It feels really good. Thank you very much, sure. Ramanujan. Sure. Ah, by the way, let me find out whether our ladies inside of the kitchen got that lesson. Winfrey, do you want to try the four second, four second, four second thing? Is it, well, that's what it's called, breath. <laughs> you want to, all, both breath. of you, the box breathing. Mm. I want to try both of you, please. We let's have, let's, let's have, have you guys we try have, it. We have food on the fire. Rami's going to... No, now. Uh, what? <laughs> <Say> guys, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it by force to relax? Right. Rami, run them through it. Run them through it. Okay, let's right. do that. Okay. Listen to Rami okay, now. Okay, it's very simple. So you just mm -hmm. close your eyes. Mm. You take a deep breath in. Mentally count to four. Hold the breath. Mm? Count four again mentally. <laughs> Breathe out and hold the breath and relax. That wasn't so bad now, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was you amazing. You were opening your Thank eyes at intervals. So. Why are you scared of the <laughs> new people? No, I was figuring.
mean, I, I thought it was four seconds open and four seconds closed, but no, I guess not. Of course, one shouldn't do this while they're driving, others yeah. it can or be very cooking, dangerous. Or cooking, even though the food is going to burn. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's, let's let you guys stick it away inside the kitchen, please. <laughs>